Hello, and welcome to this short talk. I'm Fergal Keeney, an Associate Analytics Manager in Accenture Technology, and right now I'm going to show you how to create a rank chart in Tableau and tell a data story. I'm going to walk you through how to create the rank chart here on the right hand side. The data is from an obstacle course race that I ran earlier this year, and I will use it to tell a data story more specifically around how my race went. But before we get into creating our visualization, I would like to share with you some context on what we are visualizing and how we got the data. Obstacle course racing tests multiple aspects of a competitor's athletic ability, speed, technical running, obstacle proficiency, strength, and power. The course is typically split into sectors with timing mats, which will allow us to analyze our performance in each sector relative to our competitors. And that is where it gets interesting. To give you a brief overview of the sectors for this particular race that we're analyzing, sector two will test speed and technical running ability. Sector three will test an athlete's obstacle proficiency. Sector four will test an athlete's strength. And the finishing sector uh, usually has some additional obstacles with a spear throw, followed by a fast sprint to the finish line. Starting off with the all important data preparation. This top section is what the data looked like after ripping it from the website. There is one row per athlete with their times across each of the timing mats. My data prep tool of choice here is Alteryx, where I created a separate ranking for each of the sectors and joined it back onto the data set. So now we have a rank for each sector for each athlete. Finally, for most efficient use within Tableau, I transpose the data so that it is of the structure shown here on the bottom row. All of the sectors and associated ranks are in one column. And now for the demo in Tableau. Right, so here I've got my uh, blank canvas in Tableau and I've got my data set loaded. So I'm going to start by bringing the sector onto the columns making it full screen, and then sort the sectors in order. Putting the finishing position down at the end. Next, I'm gonna take my rank that I created in the data set and put it on rows. I'm gonna change the chart type to be a line, and we're gonna take our athlete's name and put it on the detail, and there we have our, our ranks. I'm gonna change the axis so it is reversed. This will put the leader up at the top, and then each position after it um, down like so. Great, this is the bones of our rank chart. I've created a parameter here called athlete. And let me show you this, this parameter. We are going to use it to select a particular athlete. All it is, I've just uh, loaded the parameter with the names of the athletes from the name field in the data set. So I will show this parameter so we can select it over here in the right hand side and I've also created a calculated field like so which just highlights the athlete whatever is selected in the parameter this is going to allow me now once I create a duplicate chart if I go down here I'm going to take this athlete name pop it on the detail I'm also going to briefly pop it on color here so I can just hide these the null values and now we could focus just on this athlete I've also got a similar um, calculation just for the athlete color um, and now I'm going to change the chart type to be a circle and then just drop it down a bit and then create a dual axis. Always important to synchronize your axis, like so. And then put the same color on the top graph. And there we have it. That's our rank chart. Now I can go and toggle through each one of the athletes here and I can see my rank chart will be updated like so. So what was my data story through the race? Well, here I've used the chart that we have just created to analyze how my race went. I've added some annotations to the visualization to add context behind each of the data points to help bring the data story to life. So from the start gun, uh, 
up to sector two, which consisted mostly of 5k of uphill running with some strength carries, I was sitting in 23rd position. During sector three, which consisted of some obstacles, I fell off the monkey bars and had to do 30 burpees, knocking me down eight positions to 31st. Next, on the technical running sections on sector four, I was able to gain one position back up to 30th. In the final section, which consisted of more obstacles, a spear throw and a fast finish to the finish line, I was able to claw three positions back for a final finishing position of 27th. Thank you for listening and I hope you continue to tell great data stories.